Romans chapter 15, verses 4 through 6. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. A reflection from Patrick Howell. The 20th century theologian Paul Tillich claims that faith is the courage to accept acceptance. I am accepted by God as I am, not as I should be. However, this requires an act of faith. It requires the courage to embrace acceptance, that is, God's very self. God absolutely fully accepts me and intimately knows my name. As we hear in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 16, See, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hands. It is one thing to know I am accepted and quite another to embrace it. It takes a long time to believe that I am accepted by God as I am. The basic faith is that I know myself to be accepted by God. Self-acceptance can never be based on my own self, my own qualities, or my own Herculean efforts. Such a foundation would collapse. Self-acceptance is an act of faith. When God loves me, I must accept myself as well. I cannot be more demanding than God, can I? Our reading from Romans this week proclaims that Christ accepted you for the glorification of God, as we hear in Romans chapter 15, verses 7 and verse 9. The glorification of God will be possible only if the acceptance enacted by Christ flows through to mutual acceptance of one another, in particular, those weak in faith. Whatever one has received from God is bound to spread to others. A question for your reflection. Do you believe at the core of your being that God accepts you without reservation? Let us pray. Loving God, in grace you saved us while we were yet still sinners. May we believe this good news, but may you also help our unbelief. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.